I'd like to show you a quick way to create a sheet of notebook paper with ring holes in PowerPoint. Let's get started. One of the first things we want to do with this lesson is to add the Combine Shapes tool to your ribbon. And for those of you who may not know what the ribbon is, and I can plead guilty for having been one of those people, it's a section up top with all of your tools. Click File, select Options, click on Customize Ribbon, Next, in your right column area over here, click uh, make sure home is selected, click new group, move over to your left, from the choose commands from, select commands not in the ribbon, and this will bring up a whole slew of options. From here, choose combined shapes, click add, and you'll see that it went underneath new groups. That's what we want. Click OK, and here it is. It's right up, right up in the ribbon, ready for you to use. Let's create our sheet of paper. I'm going to grab a rectangle and drag out a sheet of paper. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now right click on this shape, select Format Shape. From this Fill option, I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to go with a light color, a light gray. Click Close. Oh, I'm sorry, not yet. I'm almost forgetting. We don't want an outline around this shape. So click line color, select no line, and then click close. Now we're going to go ahead and create our ring holes. Select the oval shape, hold down your shift key to constrain the shape. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. Great. Now we're going to create um, the top part of our ring hole. So with your rectangle, just position that over the circle and make sure it's nice and centered. Now hold down your shift key and click on the circle. Right click on this group, select format object, select line color, no line. We don't want an outline. Now this is where our combined shapes tool is going to come in real handy. Click on this, select shape union. Okay, now we have our first ring hole and we are going to position it over a sheet of notebook paper. Okay, now hold down your control key be and then click and drag because we're going to copy this multiple times. Don't worry about being too precise here because we're going to clean this up with the align tool. So I'm going to select all of these. Click on arrange, align, select align bottom. Go back to arrange, go to align, and now distribute horizontally. And this will space these ring holes out nice and even. Now we are going to knock out this color. So the way to do it is we have to select the paper first and now go ahead and select the ring holes. Go back to Combine Shapes and select Shape Subtract and it knocks out the color. Now we're ready to make our lines. Select your line tool, hold down the Shift key. This will keep it straight. Drag out your line. Right click on it to change the color. Click on line color and choose a nice bright red. Click close. Hold down your control key and then click and drag. So we'll just copy that. And I'm just going to use my arrow key to nudge that over a little bit. And now we're going to create our horizontal lines. Click on your line tool. Hold down your shift key to keep your line nice and straight. And we'll make our first line. Hold down your control key and just click and drag. Again, don't worry about being too precise or, or neat. We're going to clean this up in a second and everything will be evenly distributed. Select all of your lines. Go to arrange again and select a line left first. And now we're going to select distribute vertically and then just use your arrow keys just to put everything into place and there we go here is our notebook paper and to add a little bit of pizzazz that is such an old term sorry about that click on your notebook term on your notebook paper select shape effects and let's add a drop shadow and that looks pretty good and there it is a sheet of notebook paper created in PowerPoint thanks a lot